morning everybody we're back for another day with this um and i've learned a few things uh one i made a fairly bold adjustment um i don't know how good you can see up in there but there's 10 different adjustments you can make um because on this bracket alone there's five holes and then you got one hole and two hole so each adjustment there they go spraying some corn each adjustment is a half an inch right now i have it set for four and a half I just adjusted it. I had it set for five and a half because I still wanted to get some of this. Now back here, it's um, noticeably different cut quality by cutting it higher. But this is also this is also garbage back here. I mean, um, and it's thick, very thick, very tall. Still does a nice job of mulching up. Um, but I don't really care um, so much about how this looks. It's just cutting it down to cut it down. And I also got a couple, probably three or four fairly beat up hammers um, because this thing was... Remember in the first video, I said I had it cut or set for well i thought three or four and then after i got studying this thing better i realized it was about two well it was actually had about one and a half and boy was she cutting low i honestly i didn't know how long it'd be before this stuff started coming back but it's coming back now we're going to go up and do the horse pasture four and a half five is about right for a horse pasture. So
it's um, quite it's quite a piece of equipment. I, I am still quite impressed with it. Um, a few other things that I've learned. If you're moving, if you're, if the tractor's, you know, you're cruising right along, you can almost freely move this cutter in and out. If you're sitting still or moving real slow, you're going to want to take some pressure off the three point. Or otherwise, these brackets that the roller bolts onto will dig in and you've probably seen that a little bit um but this thing is uh it takes some time to grease it there's see here is the swing arms you, you got one here and one here so i had to put this together and then the three point hoop I had to put that on the other end of the swing arms and that was not an easy task by myself. Uh, my strong suggestion to everybody else would be get a buddy to help you. Um, and then I had to put this hydraulic cylinder on and the PTO shaft and that was it. The rest of it came but it was dry. Uh, when I got it everything was dry so it did take a lot of grease the first time greasing it and then I greased it again this morning before I went out here with it but I'm still extremely impressed with the cut and just to clarify with everybody I bought this mower more for the offset uh, capability than the ditch banking itself. I mean, we have that bank, which I can't really reach all of that anyways. We've got a bank up by the horse barn, a couple of ditches up there. But for the most part, I bought this for the offset nature of it. It is really a beautiful thing to be able to cut something that you're not actually running over first. Uh, other than that, as I said, I'm still learning. Uh, it's not a complicated piece of equipment. This is um, somewhat similar to running our disc bind. Um, when we mow hay, you know, one SCV runs it in and out. And on the disc bind, one runs it up and down because that's a pole type. This. The only real difference is I have tilt and up and down with the three point. You know, this SCV runs it in and out. This one has the float function, so I run this one on the tilt. And although I'm still playing around with that, I found that sometimes it's easier just to pay attention and control your tilt rather than just put it in the float. So, Overall, we're getting there. I'm very happy with it. 